Alright, I'm going to do a review on my M191A1 um, handgun. I'm putting this on my uh, new YouTube channels for all my airsoft stuff. No fingerboarding, so if you don't like my fingerboarding channel, which is Airsoft Zone 32, you can just you just watch my my uh my new one which all which is all airsoft. Um I'll have a lot of similar videos because I want to put all the same ones really that I had on that one on this one. So I'm going <clears throat> I'm going to do a rev I'm going to do the review now. Um this is the piss this is the handgun. Um I got it for like uh it was, it was like like I think it's thirty five dollars. Um, it's I've used it for a while now. Actually, as my backup secondary weapon, it's it's spring, so it's it's more powerful than all the electric guns I looked at. I went through two electric guns, but they both broke. First one didn't work at all when I got it, and then the second one, um, it worked for about twenty minutes. I'm guessing the place where I got it, they just got a bad shipment shipment of that gun. So it's a uh, I like I like the way its grip is. It's very natural to hold. You can see it doesn't the grip doesn't go straight down from the barrel. It goes at an angle, so you don't so you're not holding your hand kind of like that. You can hold it up more. It just feels more relaxed like that. Um, sights, of course, they're not adjustable. That's what it look. That's what it looks like when you look down. Um, it has a. Uh, this is the ma the magazine clip. Um, it holds twelve BBs. It has some weights in it. Make the gun more heavy, more realistic. You, you to put the BBs in. You pull that thing down, like that, pull this back and just drop the BBs in. When you're done, make sure you let that go, otherwise if you press the release button right here on the other side for that spring, all the BBs are going to fly out, and you don't want that. So, um, it's got 300, look, here, I've got some specs on it for you. This It came with this, I kept it. Um, it's got 315 FPS, which is 315 feet per second. It's 96 meters a second. So it says its maximum range is about 44 yards. It got 12 rounds. And I guess they say it's got 25-25 precision and accuracy. But there's the name. Cold M191A1. It's clear. You know, not too bad, but Here's the safety. You just push up. You can't pull the trigger. Push down. You can pull the trigger. Um, you push this button to release the magazine. Right here. Push that, and the magazine will drop right out. So I use uh, I use 20 gram BBs. They're just. They're, I think they're right in between. You know, heavy and light. The uh, six millimeter. They uh, these these ones have worked well. They 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 go a long way. Um, but to um, so to load the gun, you're just gonna slide that up in there until you hear that distinct click. It lets you know it's in there all the way, and you know. You have to cock it before you shoot. So, what you're gonna do is, uh, I just I'll just show you kind of what you're supposed to do. Now I did not cock it all the way back because I don't want to dry fire it. But when it goes all the way back, you'll be able to tell because you'll look in here and this spring right here. Okay will be all the way back. It'll be all coiled up right there. And the hammer will be back. 
and then you pull the trigger, it'll make a loud pop. It'll you'll know when you're out because it sounds different from when you have a BB in there, from when you don't have a BB. Sometimes you'll get a problem where a BB won't load up into the chamber there, and you'll shoot nothing. That probably means you didn't cock it hard enough, but you just cocked it hard enough that the spring could go back, but not hard enough for a BB to go in. Um, to drop it out again, you just press that button. It'll fall right out. I have a uh, <clears throat> review, unboxing and review for my uh, my M4 coming up. Just ordered it. It's on its way. I'm hoping to give you a review in around a week. So that's it.